Pastor says, Dear Masuma, I barely feel a connection religiously. I feel it may be because I feel unlucky in life or that Allah may be punishing me. During the first few days of Muharram, I tend to feel my most spiritual. However, the usually, this usually dies down completely after the day of Ashura. Is there anything you could suggest I, t I do so that I get the most spiritually out of the first 10 days? Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, I think before I actually answer the question that she's asked, I'd like to pick up on the point that she says, I feel unlucky in life. Mm -hmm. um, there's no such thing as luck. I truly believe that there's no such thing as coincidence. Um, Allah is totally in control. Um, he decides everything and he does only that that is good for us. So this concept of, you know, I'm lucky or I'm unlucky, I think, you know, that, that has to be taken out of the mm. mindset. And it, I think if she realizes that or he realizes yeah. that Allah is totally in control, um, then the next point where they say Allah may be punishing me yeah. again, you look at it from a totally different perspective because mm. when Allah is in control, Allah only does what is good for you. Yeah. So, um, do you think that's a reflection of their own internal feeling that yeah. I feel unlucky and Allah is punishing me? So yeah. they're almost like damning themselves, aren't they, exactly. and feeling that sadness? So exactly. Then they and then portray it to Allah. And then what happens is because you're expecting things to go wrong, then things do go wrong right. because that's what then you yeah. sort of play out. Is that? A, do you think that's a level of hopelessness in that? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. And so I think it's important for them to realize that um, why does Allah do what he does? Mm. So, you know, it, it's all about growth. And I think if we start looking at things from a growth perspective, then we see the goodness in it, mm -hmm. even when it seems really awful yeah. or, you know, it feels like it's, it's really difficult. Mm. Because you see the growth in it, it makes it much easier to cope with. And, you know, even when something is done to us, mm. because we know Allah is there and Allah is in control, then we feel like we can cope with this because Allah gives us the tools to cope with it. Yeah. So I think that's really, really important. Definitely. It's a really good point. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and then um, they talk about the fact that they feel very um, connected during the first 10 days and that sort of dies down after our shura. And what can they do more? Um, there are certain times in the year which are more blessed, mm -hmm. you know, it has more barakah in it. And obviously during those times it is much easier to connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because during those times we are forgiven our sins, you know, there is more barakah coming down, there is... We ourselves, I think, come out of our normal routine, which yeah. again helps us to connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So um, I think it's, it's important to think of a few things here. Um, for example, in the 10 days, what is it that he or she is doing, which is helping her mm. connect to Allah. Um, during those 10 days, actually reflect on where they are, where they want to be, what's stopping them from being where they want to be. Um, what can they change in their lives? Right. Ask for forgiveness.